for the exhibition of uh, Taiji Watanabe or Watanabe Taiji. We have a lot of Japanese here. Yes. Uh, welcome to Berlin. And also welcome to Berlin to all your students and uh, collaborators. Yes. I have to say we were work working on this um, exhibition for two or even more than two years. So this is the third attempt, let's say, to get the exhibition really hanging. Um, COVID prevented us from this, so COVID, um, you know, has not yet disappeared. But the exhibition is here, yeah. so come. Uh, <clears throat> so um, it's really a great pleasure that we have the, the exhibition here. Um, and um, maybe I can just uh, um, talk a little bit about the background. You afterwards have the chance a little bit to talk a little bit about the content and your intentions with this, with the um, exhibition. So it's about, I think it's about, it should be about now 25, 26 years that this collaboration between uh, Waseda University uh, started. So it started first in Weimar, the Bauhaus University. Um, it was in 1996. I was still a Wissenschaftler Mitarbeiter, so we started this cooperation and it worked out fantastically. Um, so we had a lot of exchange of people. Um, we had a great, um, fantastic uh, workshop once in the year 2000 in Weimar, at the same time also in Saga on the island of Kyushu. And just think about back in the year 2000. I think this was probably one of the first times that uh, the video conferencing was uh, practiced. Um, and it was very interesting that so I, at that time I had to go to Telekom. Uh, I think this was in Reinickendorf, talk with these technicians. And they came, they, they, they sent a technician and he, um, he was there for almost an entire week. Um, taking care of all the technology and the cameras and then it worked and it worked out fantastically. Even the minister president at that time, Bernard Vogel, um, was so eager to do video conferencing so that uh, at one time he came to uh, the university and talked with, uh, I think it was the governor of Saga and um, uh, some other important for Japan. So this is how, how this started and I'm so happy that this, um, you know, this uh, collaboration continued also after uh, the retirement of uh, Osamu Ishiyama, um, your uh, predecessor, and so that we that we are able to continue that we are able to continue this um, collaboration. Yes. So um, thank you to first of all to your staff and to your uh, students because they were all day long yesterday setting up the, the exhibition. Thank you to Klaus Matskuma and Anne. Yes, she must be somewhere around. No? Okay. Yes. Ah, she's working. <laughs> Still working. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> and uh, I think it looks fantastic. Also, somehow, that uh, this is also a wonderful space here to do this kind of um, exhibitions. Mm -hmm. And we already talked about um, more upcoming events and activities in maybe in Japan, maybe here, or maybe both um, in the near future. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So I give you that, please. Um, you have the word. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. So uh, first, with uh, uh, I'd like to uh, tell you uh, my great appreciation to the to have the exhibition I named Crossover Architecture. And then I also uh, thank you uh, all people who are uh, coming here today and then uh, uh, who uh, has supported to realize this exhibition. And then uh, uh, I'd like to introduce the one priority tale that I have found uh, the several years. It's a very brief one. The once upon a time, there was a monkey who became a human first, and then uh, he is uh, sitting on the tail. It was a small tail or a small monkey, and uh, with the sitting, uh, he is looking around the field. 
the fish surrounding the picture. And then some, sometimes uh, he noticed that something is blue, and then he took that one. Uh, it was quite short stick made by steel. And the first way that he tried to use that steel as a music instrument. And then after that, he noticed he can use that steel nail, that, that one as a steel nail. And then uh, sometimes he tried to make something by using this steel nail. And then in addition to that, he tried to find any other object which was uh, thrown around that hill uh, for some objects to use something. And then step by step, he made uh, some sh small shelter to survive for himself. And then he named that one Red House. And then after that, he also tried to uh, prepare the several shells for other uh, monkeys that who wanted to become human. And then he took, had to make it such kind of methodology for much more uh, ordinary way to make middle class mass production. And then he also named that one crossover house. There is a small narrative that uh, I want to show through this uh, exhibition. And then afterwards, the recently the coming of the past, that monkey design was found. And then uh, there is a remake and the set as a series of crossover products. And then uh, I also try to run on that monkey. And then uh, actually uh, I try to uh, design one architecture. I named section for water. And then this architecture is combined <laughs> by the conception of the stage and then the uh, storage. The storage involves everything we can find in uh, any uh, functions, how to use or something. And then the uh, space can be the, uh, defined depend on the, any behavior, the what I or the monkey want to do so. So my intention of the, this exhibition to uh, go out from the limitation of the society which was composed in the 20th century maybe. Uh, I mean, especially about the, uh, one kind of the circulation of the nationalism, stronger nationalism, try to defeat the weaker nationalism to survive for the country as a victim. So uh, unfortunately, in the, our human history, the, we cannot throw away any walls or the defeating uh, because of our ego. But the, the, at that moment, uh, what architecture can do against such kind of situation, what architects can do or contribute against such kind of situation. I really want to consider about that one, how to go out from the circulation of the nationalist brothers nationalism. Actually, I cannot show the exact way, but at least I try to read stuff the uh, early age of the design as a new methodology, how to combine architecture, how to compose market, how to make the addition, the relationship between the client, architect, users, citizens, or government. So I say crossover. So if you look around this exhibition, the, uh, Answer opinion, I'm very happy. <coughs> and then, uh, if we can share some common part of this content, I'm very, very happy. So, uh, <coughs> thank you for coming. Thank you very much. <laughs> Right? Yes. Um, I think there are only few people or few architects 
in Japan, they are so independently thinking than people. You get maybe also a little bit of feeling in the exhibition. And I think this is a really wonderful, first of all, a fantastic uh, quality um, in, a, in, a, in a time where everything gets kind of standardized. We have to talk about the collective, collective, but he's an individual. He is a very rare in Japan, actually. find it really individual who somewhat stays away from, from the collective. And, um, so it was a very interesting. So yesterday we had uh, dinner together with the, um, the students. So we ended up in a very typical restaurant. It's Dietrichstraße, um, Maximilian, Bavarian food, and beer, and so on. And you have this little piece over there, you know, a wood piece. I think this is something you can use for, for tables, for everything. And we had. We had a real uh, ice bike, and I thought, well, the bone that was left at the end looks a little bit like <laughs> you're thinking. <laughs> right? Yes. So, okay, so enjoy the, um, uh, the, the exhibition. We prepared um, some uh, drinks, and um, well, so the exhibition is open, and um, enjoy it.